Today I got my hands on the latest mini PC from Geekon, the Mini IT13. This is the first mini PC powered by the latest Intel 13th core processor we've ever reviewed. And luckily, I got the highest version. The tiny box in my hand is a monster PC with the i9 13900H CPU, 32G RAM, 2TB SSD. So it might be also the most powerful mini PC that you can find on the market. After having it for tests and daily uses, I would say that this little bomb is truly impressive. So I can't wait to introduce it to you guys. In terms of packaging, the Mini IT13 is packed in a compact color box. Open it, I can see the Mini PC, and underneath it are some accessories, including one 120 watt power adapter that supports a wide range inputs, one HDMI cable, a user manual, and a Visa mount. The Visa mount can secure the unit to the back of most monitors, collect and hide the cables in a good way. So by far, Geekon has done a really good job over the accessories. The Mini IT13 is made of metal in most of the body. Everything I can touch is made of metal, but it only weighs 652 grams, which is much lighter than most laptops. So it's pretty easy to carry on the go, and it's so compact that it even fits in my sachet well. The Mini IT13 has a Geekon logo on the top, and there are two air inlets on both of the left and right. The right metal grills have an SD card slot. The main I.O. panels are on the front and back. There are two 10 Gbps USB ports on the front as well as a 3.5mm headphone jack. And on the back, there are two HDMI 2 ports, a USB 2, another 10 Gbps USB-A port, as well as two special Type-C ports, also called USB 4, supporting up to 40 Gbps. They are particularly powerful for support connecting graphic card docks. In terms of network support, the Mini IT13 comes with an AX211 Wi-Fi kit and a LAN port that supports wired network at up to 2.5 Gbps. With all these interfaces, you can have quite a lot of possibility with the Mini IT13. One of the things I like about the internal structure of the Mini PC is that it supports multiple storage options. The 2TB variant comes with a 2280 NVMe SSD, and you can add an extra 2242 SATA SSD or 2.5 inch SSD on your own to expand the total storage. It is also worth noting that the Mini IT13 has an exclusive cooling structure for the hard drives. Good job, Geekom. Considering the compact size of Mini IT13, I would say that expandability and the connectivity is perfect. And the high-speed interface can also significantly improve efficiency when used with the i9-3900H. If you look closely, the Mini IT13 has a metal frame that completely surrounds the board, so even if you shake the PC violently, it won't rattle. That means I can put the Mini IT13 in my backpack and take it on the go without worrying about anything. The Mini IT13 is powered by the 14 cores, 20 threads, i9-3900H processor. That's pretty insane for a mini PC. Thanks to Raptor Lake Edge series great power efficiency and the 14 cores, the latest i9H CPU achieves a multi-core performance of 7881 in the CPU-Z test, which is 7% ahead of the desktop i9-10900K with the same 20 threads. Performance is 7% ahead, and the highlight is single-core performance. Comparing to the i9-10900K, the i9-3900H in the Mini PC is 20% ahead. Well, in Cinebench R23 test, the Mini ID13 scores 11800 in multi-core performance, which is more than enough to handle most complex tasks. I'm actually more concerned about the power consumption and the temperature than its performance. In the CPU stress test, the Mini IT13's i9 3900H power consumption reached 60 watts at the first second, and then the power consumption stayed at 35 watts. And after a 10 minute CPU stress test, the power consumption stably remained at 35 watts, and the CPU package temperature stayed close to 80 degrees Celsius. The CPU's P core was running at 3.3 GHz and the E core was running at 2.5 GHz, while the surface temperature of the Mini ID13 was only 40 degrees Celsius. The thermal performance of Mini ID13 is truly excellent, considering the i9-3900H has a very powerful performance at 35 watt output. Of course, if you're a Geek user, you can also try to unlock the power limit to get a higher CPU performance. It's also worth mentioning that the noise control of the Mini i13 is very good. You can barely hear the noise during daily use. You do hear the fan noise when doing complex tasks, but to my surprise, the noise of Mini i13 is different from the harsh centrifugal fan on the laptop. It's more similar to a 12 cm fan on the PC. So there's nothing for me to complain about here. 
About the GPU is our old friend, the 9060EU Intel XE GPU. In the gaming test, I first tested the GPU in the Counter-Strike 2 with a screen set to 1080p low setting. It's run at 80 to 110 FPS, and I did complete a couple of headshots during the game, which was pretty good. In Genshin Impact at 1080p low setting, we tested in the fountain area, the frame rate was around 50 FPS, and the gaming experience was relatively smooth. Overall, thanks to the Mini IT13's dual channel 3200MHz RAM, the GPU performs quite well, and the Mini IT13 has a very good temperature control when gaming. No kidding, the Mini IT13 can be your gaming PC if you play games that don't require super high graphics. Another thing that interests me is a 2TB SSD. The Mini ID13 uses Alexa MN781 PCIe 4 SSD. There are no details of the specific SSD variants, but most likely this is an OEM product that is not for the retail market. In actual test, the performance of this hard drive is very good. It has a very fast read and write speed, which fits well with our imagination about PCIe 4 SSD. I also tried some extreme tests. In the 1000 GB of large file reading, it still kept 2700 MB per second in the whole test. Personally, I'm very satisfied with SSD offered by the Mini ID13 at this price. The Mini ID13 does have a very good user experience. The i9-13900H is even more powerful than the big PC I'm using. When running complex tasks, this CPU does bring higher efficiency. It also has a reasonable combination of parts and components. The chip brings powerful performance, while the 32G dual-channel memory offers great support for multitasking, and the 2TB SSD has enough space to store the data generated by CPU computing. Meanwhile, there are two extra storage expansion ports, and high-speed ports makes Mini ID13 a good enough replacement for a traditional PC. And if you really need extra graphic performance, the USB 4 can also add those graphic card stocks in, no matter for gaming or AI tasking. All in all, I have no reason to say no to a super powerful mini PC like this. So it is a Geekko Mini IT13 review, hope you like it, and you can let us know if you want to watch more reviews of this type of product, then we will bring more to you. This is Will from China, see you next time.